And I suppose you have to say, Tommy, being sensitive, of course, to the Macarivian hearts, that a jury unanimously found those two men innocent in not a very long space of time. Does that mean the men were innocent, in your opinion, as someone who sat there for eight weeks? Or did the police investigation mess up? I mean, what actually happened? Well, what was very apparent from day one, and you know, I was with a group of journalists, Roel McCormack from the Irish Times, um, David Young from the Press Association, Natasha Saeed from BBC, and we discussed it day in, day out. And we could feel our own views about it changing and wavering. But what was very, very obvious from the beginning was that the prosecution had based its case on two things. Number one, a confession that was contested, mm. and number two, an eyewitness account. And if those two matters failed, their case was in real trouble. I think what was also very apparent was there were several, there were several trials going on. The police were on trial. A unit of the police with a checkered history was under discussion. The whole system of justice within Mauritius was on trial. And you also had this sense, almost a tribal thing, of Mauritius against the world, because these were two local people. And the people who had done the most preparations were the defence lawyers, and in particular a man called Rama Valaiden, who's a politician as well as a very competent defence lawyer. And he had behind him maybe five, six lawyers each day in court, and you'd go to his office sometimes in the afternoon, and you'd see them working away. And they really had their homework done. And I think it had to be said about the police investigation that once they formed the opinion those two men were guilty, they actually stopped in some respects. They stopped asking mm. themselves, are we sure? And they certainly stopped asking themselves, might there be others?